In this video, it's not going to be ICT basics. Um, I, I, this is just going to be my opinion. Um, I, I do think I'm going to stick with, I'm going to try sticking purely with fair value gaps. No order blocks, no breaker blocks, no liquidity, nothing but fair value gaps. And the reason is because I think it's probably the most versatile tool that Michael has. Um, there's a lot you can do with fair value gaps. Fair value gaps can be support or resistance. They can invert, and you can have breakaway gaps as well. Um, they can you can you can test them initially. Institutional order flow entry drill. You can reclaim them, test them again. I think that the fair value gap is enough. You know, you look at where price tends to turn, and oftentimes you are just you're going to see these fair value gaps, right? And I think that there's so much you can do with the fair value gap. So, you know, here's a breakaway gap, but also an inverted fair value gap there. There's so many examples of inverted and, and fair value gaps that are acting upon the price. Like even here, for example, we were drawing up into this fair value gap, right? We didn't quite get there, but we were drawing up to it. And that was right on the open on Thursday. And even if you even if you didn't notice that, you know, notice you could notice this fair value gap here, and when price traded through it, it inverted and shot down a sell side liquidity, right? Inverted fair value gap. So Yeah, I have a number of, uh, that's probably enough. Um, that's probably, that's probably enough. Um, anyways, I'm going to, I'm going to stick with fair value gaps and see if I can limit my over trading, limit my gambling, you know, try and trade in a more disciplined manner. If I stick to one PD array, um, I do think that I have been overdoing it with, the patterns that I'm using, I do think that I'm over trading. I recognize that. Um, I think that the month of August has been particularly difficult. Um, Wednesday's trading was easier. This was a nice clean move, but this has been this has been a pretty difficult trading. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I mean, this is this has just been difficult, right? This has just been difficult. I think. Um, so I'm going to see if sticking with one PD array, one pattern, that being the fair value gap, and using it all the different ways that I know how. So breakaway gaps, measuring gaps, uh, inverted fair value gaps, and then as normal support and resistance, and then also reclaimed fair value gaps. Those are all the different ways you can use. So... So those are all the different ways that you can use fair value gaps and you can see that they're they're very versatile. You can use them like they're pretty much all you need. And you know, if you use them the right way and if you if you notice you start with your higher time frame fair value gaps, so start with your daily fair value gaps, start, you know, we'll actually start with your weekly fair value gaps. So like for example, notice that we have a weekly fair value gap uh, significantly lower, right? Weekly fair value gap that we're also trading into right now, but that's also a daily fair value gap uh, that we're reclaiming and we're probably coming down to sell side liquidity. Looking at the four hour, 
notice that just below sell side liquidity, what do we have here? We have an old fair value gap, right? So the fair value gap is, is very versatile. And I would say that from my experience, it's probably all you need. Um, if you, if you know, if you kind of know how they behave, they're really all that you need. So I'm going to see how I can do just trading fair value gaps. Okay. So this video, we went over, you know, ways to use fair value gaps, why I'm going to try and stick with the fair value gap as my preferred uh, PD array is the only PD array that I'm going to use uh, focusing. So focusing in on the, on the fair value gap. So, and just use that. All right. Bye-bye.